Now we're on chapter seven called The Meeting. It was Friday night, the night before the race when it happened. Grandfather was out of medicine. Little Willie went to go see Doc Smith. Here, Doc Smith handed Little Willie a piece of paper with some scribbling on it. Take this to Lester right away. But it's nighttime, the store's closed. Uh, just knock on the back door, he'll hear you. But are, are you sure it's all right? Yes. Lester knows I may have to call on him at any time of day or night. People don't always get sick just during working hours, now do they? No, I guess they don't, Little Willie headed for the door. He sure wished he could stay and have some of that cinnamon cake Doc Smith was baking in the oven. It smelled mighty good. But Grandfather needed his medicine, and anyway, he wouldn't think of staying without being asked. Oh, one other thing, Willie, Doc Smith said. Uh, yes, ma'am? Might as well say this to, I might as well say this now as later. It's about the race tomorrow. Uh, yes, ma'am. First, I want you to know that I think you're a darn fool for using your college money to enter that race. Little Willie's eyes looked to the floor. Yes, ma'am. But since it's already been done, I also want you to know I'll be rooting for you. Little Willie looked up. You will? Win, Willie, win that race tomorrow. Little Willie beamed. He tried to speak, but he couldn't find the words. Embarrassed, he backed out, backed over to the door, gave a little wave, and turned quickly to leave. Oh, and Willie? Uh, yes, ma'am. If you stay a minute, you can have some of the cinnamon cake I have in the oven. Yes, ma'am. Later, on his way to town, Little Willie sang at the top of his lungs, the sled's runners cut through the snow with a swish. This was a treacherous road at night, but the moon was out and searchlight could see well. And anyway, they knew this road by heart. Nothing was going to happen. Lester gave, a, gave little Willie a big bottle of what looked like dirty milk. How's your grandfather doing? Lester asked. Not good, but I think if I win the race tomorrow, he'll get better. Doc Smith thinks so too. Lester smiled. I admire you, Willie. Takes a heap of courage going up against the likes of Stone Fox. You know, he's never lost, don't you? Yes, I do. I know. Thank you for the medicine. Little Willie waved goodbye as searchlight started off down Main Street. Lester watched the departing sled for a long time before he yelled, Good luck, son! On his way out of town along North Road, Little Willie heard dogs barking. The sounds came from the old deserted deserted barn near the schoolhouse. Little Willie decided to investigate. He squeaked the barn door open and peeked in. It was dark inside and he couldn't see anything. He couldn't hear anything either. The dogs had stopped barking. So he went inside the barn. Little Willie's eyes took a while to get used to the dark and then he saw them, the five Samoyeds. They were in the corner of the barn on a bed of straw they were looking at him. They were so beautiful that little Willie couldn't keep from smiling. Little Willie loved dogs. He had to see the Samoyeds up close. They showed no alarm as he approached or as he held out his hand to pet them. And then it happened. There was movement through the darkness to little Willie's right. A sweeping motion, fast at first, then it appeared slow and stop, but it didn't stop. A hand hit Little Willie right in the face, sending him over backward. Oh, I didn't mean any harm, Mr. Stone Fox, Little Willie said as he picked himself up off the ground, holding a hand over his eye. Here's a picture of Willie. He sees the shadow coming before, it's, before he can do anything about it. It's really too late. Stone Fox stood tall in the darkness and said nothing. Searchlight barked outside. The Samoyeds barked in return. Little Willie continued, I I'm going to race against you tomorrow. I, I know how you want to win, but I, I want to win too. I got to win. If I don't, they're going to take away our farm. They have that right. Grandfather says that those that want to bad enough will. So I will. I will win. I'm going to beat you. Stone Fox remained motionless and still. Little Willie backed over to the barn door, still holding his eye. I'm sorry we can't both win, he said. 
Then he pushed open the barn door and left, closing the door behind him. In the barn, Stone Fox stood unmoving for another moment, then he reached out with one massive hand and gently petted one of the Samoyeds. That night, Little Willie couldn't sleep. His eye was killing him. And when Little Willie couldn't sleep, Searchlight couldn't sleep. They both tossed and turned for hours. And whenever Little Willie looked over to see if Searchlight was asleep, she'd just be lying there with her eyes wide open, staring right back at him. Little Willie needed his rest. So did Searchlight. Tomorrow was going to be a big day. The biggest day of their lives. Dun, dun, dun. And that's the end of the chapter.